everyone welcome to the mad witch cottage and thank you for joining me um, i have a commission tarot and a journal pouch to share um i was approached by someone a lovely person who asked if i would create for them either a book cover or a, um, a pouch to put their writings in i don't really do book covers i don't i mean i don't really do um journal pouches either but I thought well it's probably easier for me than um, I mean I know book covers aren't necessarily complicated but I don't do them and I, I might do one for myself but um, with my shop at the moment it's kind of uh, it goes where it wants and it's not very structured and this particular person is very very talented um, and creative and I'm I first said to her, why, why do you want me to, to create this? You can, you can do something far better than, than anything I can produce. Um, but uh, they were insistent that they wanted something. Um, so I, I'm very, very pleased with it. There was a lot of swearing and cursing and, and um, finger pricking because it's quite a bit of hand sewing as well. Uh, so at the end of this, I will just flip the camera around and just give you a quick show of it. Um, on other news, uh, I've been really busy trying to get the last few bits that I wanted to create for my shop um, done. Uh, they, they come under kind of different categories. I'll go into that in um, more detail when I actually finish. So I'm I'm on the final stretch, hopefully, but it's been a long, a long slog. Um, I'm also in kind of two minds where where I want to go uh, with YouTube and my shop anyway. So everything feels a little bit kind of up in the air at the moment. Um, it's now March and I'm so looking forward to getting more out in the garden and between that and sewing and wanting to change really have a huge health uh, change as well um, I'm, I'm not eating properly I'm not eating healthily and I need to change lots of things in my um, my, my general life so uh so on another front i'm i'm kind of uh, i'm not really the tarot decks that i'm using haven't changed up uh i'm still using uh tarot de luz and uh herb crafters and sort of uh light kind of decks i'm reading a lot of jane austen so i've got J lucy worsley's um jane austen at home which is going to be all back to front because of the way i'm i'm recording uh, sense and sensibility and I did I, I tend to like I want to buy my books I like to buy my books second hand but I haven't been able to get to a second hand bookshop for eons um, and although I do buy off the internet if I buy anything I always tend to go for cheap and cheerful um, these two came up in a shop we call TK Maxx here I think you you've got a version of it in America I don't know if it's anywhere else and they were so beautiful and so beauty so cheaply priced so this one is Jane Eyre which is Charlotte Bronte so I start my love started with Bronte and it's moving into Austin and Little Women by Louisa May Alcott um, I ordered this um, second hand off the internet and it never arrived so I got my money back and I thought oh well you know maybe it'll happen and when I saw that I thought I cannot I just cannot just walk away from that so I got to, so that's a bit of reading I'm very much very much into Austin um, because I think at this moment in my life I really feel the need for a very gentle uh, energy a very slow slow stitch slow energy and because I've been doing a lot of sewing I, I'm hoping to do a video once I've got the shop stuff done um, I want to do just a very quick video of all my personal projects because there's loads and it's and I thought maybe it's just me and I'm being ridiculous but I think from watching other sewing channels I don't think I am alone I think there's lots of people who like 
you know you start things and then you find something else you want to oh, I don't like, want to do that I really want to do that um, and then you end up with this pile so I have this pile of quilts that are half done and a couple of them are for grandchildren so I've, I've got to get them done and then I've also got um, a few new projects in quilting uh, as, as well as other things so I feel like I've uh, I've got a lot of things I want to do but I don't I want to finish them because I found that as much as I get all excited and inspired and I want to make all these things if I don't finish them it, it, it makes me angsty um, so there's that and the garden of course is coming into its own uh, there's a lovely Jane Austen embroidery book again it's all back to front for you but um, oh this is lovely too um, so I'm in a very quiet place with my um, with my life. Um, I'm feeling very disconnected actually from people, probably through choice, because I just feel, uh, you know, I, I just want to crawl away into a little quiet space. That's just me. I just, this is, I guess, who I am. And I didn't realise that was such, I've often said it, I know I'm a hermit, you know, I, I, I'm quite solitary and this is very true. But, you know, those little flowers that when you touch them and they just curl up all their petals, that's me. Um, and that's how I feel. That's how I'm feeling at the moment. Very, um, very much in need of that very quiet space a rose Tudor rose garden or something like that um, so a couple of sewing books for anybody who watches this that is interested in the sewing side of things um, the untamed thread so looking at it this is um this is a embroidery book this is Fleur Woods for those of you who, who follow the embroidery world or the hand stitching or slow stitching or whatever element that you follow I read this book from cover to cover because it isn't just about the actual stitches or it, it's about life in general and how um, it reading it is is like stepping into that that garden that summer garden and she talks about her way of life and different feel-good things that when you're reading it, I, I read it, I'd read a bit in the morning and a bit in the evening. It's it's a lovely book. It's a lovely book in every way. Uh, it's It's got some interesting techniques for sewing. She's she's very much a, a, a mixed media artist as well. I mean, she's hugely talented. Um, she's from New Zealand. So uh, just, just an all round beautiful book. And the other one, this was a lot harder to get hold of, but I know that... From following her on Instagram there are books this book is back around again this is Calico and Stitch and it is uh, Sue what's her last name because I was it um, Stitchley uh, Stitch yes Stitchley I think and she is very much about um, it's tiny little sort of um appliques and it's it's just beautiful beautiful work tiny delicate details and it comes with the patterns which was making this book a lot more expensive and it comes in french as well it's a it's both it's english and french in it so that's that's it really i'm i'm totally zoned out from uh I'm still posting a bit, but I'm so I'm totally zoned out. So if uh, you know, if I've got a couple of, like the shop video to put up, and um, yeah, I'm not sure where I'm going to go then after that because I'm taking some time off. I'm gonna I have to get a couple of quilts done before my daughter comes over in May from Australia, and I don't. I just don't feel connected at the moment. I just want my garden to wrap me up in flowers and herbs and butterflies and dragonflies and just disappear. Um, so anyway, I'm going to turn the video around now. Um, I'm going to show you this one and only 
one off. My granddaughter saw it um, and she said, oh, can I have one? I know. Uh, I said, to her, I, 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 I don't envisage making these. I have I am going to be making some other bags, but not 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 necessarily for people. One last thing is um, I, ha I have had to turn commissions down because I can't manage more than two at a time. If, although I'm going to be taking a bit of a step back, if you do want a commission piece, if you approach me and I said, you know, I had a couple on at the go, uh, I don't do it through Etsy. I do it through YouTube Mad Witch, uh, my email, which I'll link in this video. So you can contact me that way if you still want me to look at doing a commission piece for you. But uh, other than that, let's go and see this. I'm, I'm so pleased with this tarot, uh, not tarot, it's a journal pouch. Um, I'm so pleased with it. And uh, there were many times when I wanted to cry. I did cry. It wasn't working. It wasn't coming together. And I tell you these things because... It is so easy, especially when you're on your own, to get deflated or to feel that this isn't going to work. Um, and quite often, if anyone else is watching this who creates, you kind of get to a point where it could go either way. And I was kind of really struggling with this. And I thought, I don't know if this is actually going to come together. And when it did... I was just over the moon about it because I've been solidly, solidly working since I took my first commission on in January and I haven't had a break. And I don't know that I could maintain that, but I wanted to do these shop things. So if I'm approached to do a commission and I can take it on, I will. Um, so this was a bit of a challenge and I'd never really, you know, thought how what what I could achieve doing this. But this is, like I say, it's a one-off, and I'm I'm genuinely pleased with it to the point where I wanted to keep it. And that's always that's when I know that I've I, when I know I want to keep it, and I do want to keep it. <laughs> Actually, I I, I do, um, and I think yeah, that's it. Then I've then I've achieved what I set out to do. So that's it that's all i've got to say um i hope you're having a lovely march uh we're getting a lot of sunshine and rain <laughs> a bit of both um i've been getting out in the garden i've cleaned out my potting shed i've cleaned out my greenhouse i've mulched my roses and pruned them i've sowed sweet peas i know some people sow them earlier but um and i've i've sown broad, broad beans um i've i did have chitting potatoes the mouse or the rats got them in the shed so i've moved them indoors and they're they're okay now um and yeah i'm just i'm hoping that we're going to get a good summer because i would really love to enjoy my garden this year to its absolute full um if i'm blessed with that i will be so happy uh so this lovely big bumblebee um, there's a there's a tree growing next to my greenhouse that one of the gardeners here said oh it's a it's a sucker and I'm like think it is I don't know what it is don't know where it came from uh, I thought it was a damson because I'd had a damson and it, it died and I thought oh this is the this is one of the the bits that I managed to salvage but I don't think it is a damson and there was this lovely that's coming out in all these catkins so i think it's part of the willow family i think it's i've got a like a dwarf willow by the pond and i have a funny feeling that it might be connected to that but it's huge and where it is isn't doing any harm and uh there was this big bee on, on one of the catkins and having a lovely time uh and I hope we don't get too much of a frost because we've been getting a few frosts lately. Um, I think we had a very, very mild, very wet February. In fact, it's been very wet, full stop. So I hope we don't get a terribly mild, a terribly cold March because so much of nature is now kind of waking up. 
so there we are my waffle for the garden and for the weather is over and uh, thank you if you've joined me and uh, if you like the bag the journal case uh, do let me know um, no I won't be making any more <laughs> there are other people there are plenty of talented people out there who who make other things I, um, I, I learned a lesson about what I feel I can achieve and I can't achieve um, and I don't feel that I can it, it wasn't there it wasn't you know the clients fault it was mine I just oh yeah I'll do this I'll do that and I learned that I, I need to uh, to stay within where I want to, to work or where I, I'm, I'm comfortable unless I want to branch out because that way then I know that um, I can do it I mean I learned something I did do it and I did come through and I'm really very proud of that but um, not without many swear words anyway okay thanks bye so here is my latest commission piece and this was created for a lovely person actually beautiful um beautiful soul and they as with all the commission pieces it was designed um with with certain elements in mind that they wanted included so for this i've put a little popper and i ha my mother-in-law had these gorgeous um ivory mother of pearl type um uh, buckles and I just thought oh yeah that works and you know these things just come about so this is the back now I'm not going to explain how this why what this is this is for the person um, who commissioned the piece to share when, if and when they ever do want to uh, but we have this lovely cottage and the mountains and all the, fear, the the trees in the background, a little vegetable patch. So most of this is, is free motion uh, stitching, but we do have hand stitching in here as well. And um, as, I, you, as I've often said, it's not finished and, until after the video. So there is, a, there is a bit that I have yet to finish, but I've put in some cabbages. I don't know if you can, can see these cabbages here. Um, with hand stitching as are the carrots and the pumpkins and we have some flowers that are hand stitched and down here we have a couple of our little shrooms and a little snail I have to have a snail in there and the top I particularly liked because I used a bit of slow stitching techniques here uh, I matched this very much to the personality of the person who it's created for and inside we have, it's lined, it's got lots of lacy bits. And then we have, um, this is a witch on her horse. And um, there's a little mouse. And down here's a little fox. And it has like a book spine at the back. Plenty of room. I measured it so that all her bits and pieces can go in there. And then we have, um, I call them Hufflepuffs, but they're Suffolk Puffs or Yo-Yos. And uh, there's a couple of those. Oopsie. So that's the, uh, and then the, the strap is, I get a bit of slow stitching um, and ribbon. I just, I just wanted it to be very boho. Very, um, it just, to me, it sings her character beautifully. And there's plenty of room for her to, to fill it so there you have it that is the um the journal case thank you